welcome guys we're going for expedition here the major factor is crafting items i have crafted an item and i'm here to finish this off for my belt actually i don't even need the modifiers right why, why do i even bother ah, modifiers are cool because it's enemy spawns uh craft control get a rage make things interesting here we go. this is the high level highest level of the expedition and this should give us close to 3000 with the production and that should be enough for me for crafting i'm crafting a belt that costs about 3000 production monsters are not way easy here though but i think we should be strong enough where's my paladin build this is a hundred million monster oh yeah i need, I need to manually cast the mark of impunity now oh my unique Hey, lucky, lucky found. You know why it's lucky? Because this belt increased drop rate by 46%. Big thank you to me, Mina to craft this first. Because I was crafting my shield. He actually helped me craft the belt. I actually forgot to socket my shield as well. I just finished crafting the shield. It's a legendary now. Found the unique. And it's not socketed. I know. So silly, right? Oh, gosh. It does feel a little strange without my other belt that auto cast debuffs so now i have to press i'll be pressing r a lot to get the debuffs off not bad though it's pretty much the same this saves me the time before so get them together press my r and it's gonna spread i'll finish them off there we go come together guys free hugs if you want the full guide on this build, I'll have been making it. I'll be posting it for you guys as well. It's a really solid build for the late game. So, Marco says, my opinion, part of Exo is cheaper, but this game's more enjoyable and prepare for early release. Yeah, that's right. I like it, the Diablo 3 kind of atmosphere as well. I'm a big fan of Diablo 3, to be honest. What's in the Hardcore League? Yes, what they do, I don't think they should fix that bug. Come on, this is what the end game is fine about, right? If you fix it, what about the people that don't have it? And also, uniques can't be socketed. This way, you can socket uniques into legendaries, and you can craft them into legendaries, and you can socket them. Let's open the chest, find a legendary. You'll see. <laughs> Special belt. No, not today. It's not a bug, it, it's um, Zenda, I think it might not be a bug, maybe intentional as well. The people are saying too many things are bugs, right? <laughs> yeah, once I press R, I do a lot more damage, massively. Get the R in, the jump in. You don't have to press R too often, but it does give you a lot more damage when I miss up. Anything good? My first legendary was actually from a cursed chest. I wonder if we got one. Nope. Hey, game. <laughs> Be nice. Touch onwards. It's all good. So Rekko says, personally could not finish the story mode because after three boss freeze every time he transforms you face two. Oh damn. Yeah, that that there are some bugs in the game, that's right. Now did you manage to get someone to help you with there back then? Or did you like skip it? Thank you, Wara. Yeah, I'll be posting this build first for sure. It's a holy paladin build. Oh no, no one's here. <laughs> Came to the wrong neighborhood. I did not kill enough by the looks of it. That's awkward. I can't drive corners, <laughs> so I have to lag it. Now I can drive. Now I'll drive again. Huh? Maybe I don't have to drive. <laughs> I can't the shield charge drive. <laughs> Okay. To 
to the Batman build. Okay, well, you can kill those, we don't have to kill them. I mean, if the boss comes out, we just go for the boss. Yeah, we'll go for the boss. That looks through, right? Damn. So, going right to the Fedai, kill him and make me able to continue, give up. Fine. Yeah, that's right. You had to invite someone that can help you out with, you know, killing the Act 3 boss if you get a bug. And that will help out a lot, actually. They will actually also be rewarded with the Genesis Storm, which is a very good late game item. It's like exalted out from PoE. You know, it says, Russian Wreck uh, interview David Burke, Max Rich, Sephiroth from XCOM, anyone with an ARPG mask here? Oh, nice, nice. Oh, it's a little patchy. Make sure he's debuff. Oh, am I lagging? I might be lagging here. Uh, game. Am I dead? No way, right? No, don't DC here. The trial bell work. <laughs> We're back, guys. <laughs> we got disconnected. Right. Bell should still be there. We quickly finish this. Uh, we need to finish the crafting of the build. Need to be quick. <laughs> need to be quick. Mm. Is that his unfit? Special? Yeah, yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, like on another one, Raccoon, definitely. The belt's still there by the looks of it. I'm not sure, but we need to find out. So I'm gonna clear this map super quickly if I can. It is a max level map for high productivity. I'm, I'm just needing about 3,000 productivity to finish the map up. Matt sounds super man mode. <laughs> Hook me there, buddy. Oh, he almost got me. <laughs> that hook almost took me. Oh. I almost died there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's right. I didn't debuff him. I've got to debuff him with that. Uh, I'm so used to the belt. <laughs> Too used to the belt there. Now, what's your rule the best to run antenna maps versus? Uh, let me try to explain that. So, for the antenna, you really don't want to die. For the expedition, you can die two times in every map. Because if you die three times, you run off the death home map. But if you go to the next one, you can die two times again, pretty much, for me. At least three times. It's because you have three revives. So, the thing with untinted is if you die, you, your rating will go down. And if the rating goes down, you will not be able to find, you know, legendaries from the reward. And that's the biggest factor for me. And I die too often sometimes. <laughs> too careless. But here with Expedition, it gives more productivity and there's a little more farm I feel. I like Expedition a little more, to be honest. Spamming the buttons <laughs> to clear them quicker. But later, I might go for more Untinted. Move it, people. Move it. <laughs> Move it, I'll lose it. <laughs> oh, enough monsters. Those lesser monsters don't contribute to the boss. Damn, it's a great explosion. No. Is it the Shire? What Shire is it? I don't see the Shire though. You're killing fast. As like usual, they don't contribute much yet. We'll go for the boss, debuff him. Oh, oh, again, he shot me to like no HP. That's why you need more HP, guys. <laughs> I have like over 13,000 resistance at times. Look at people. Yesterday, running with Zeta, I was able to get an expedition that was ongoing, but that bugged out. So, getting into an ongoing expedition bugs out. So, that does not work. You have to start from the start from the expedition to get the reward for it. That's the biggest thing. So with the expression that was ongoing, if you go into it, it bugs out for him as well. Yeah. Otherwise, you can kind of abuse it, just finish it, then get people to join, and do that repeat. Yeah, it's possible to get in, but you won't get the expedition reward. That's the thing. I keep saying that's the thing. But yeah, that's the problem. Hmm. Go this way, right? So you mean to get in for the level ups? Yeah, either died or had 1 HP left there. So close, right? 
after this. I wonder how we know that. <laughs> this crap shield is 56 blockchains. Oh, if there was the Banner of Tyranny there. <laughs> oh my friend. Give me the all day here with the strong shield. Hey, is it that it? Oh gosh, it's up there, isn't it? Oof. I said I'll run this map quickly. Turns out I ran this super slowly. Have a secret window on map 107. If you try and reset the inventory. Oh my. Be careful with those stuff. The secret window resets. I've heard there's like glitches and boosters that might affect the server. And well, I think the developers won't be too happy though. There's all sorts of glitches and things out there. Super fast speed. I am gonna clear this map and then let's see if the productivity is enough. If it's enough, we just you know, we just run one map at a time. Oh gosh, don't have that There's a lot of damage and it's actually useless. Wait, wait. Move it people. Boss is ready. Basically, my goal is to finish this one for productivity and we'll repeat this for a few times. Oof, can't grab that. Okay, be careful with this guy. Got my stacks on him, make sure I have one jump to get away from his spells and he should be dead very soon. I might kill him before he's, he does the thing. Is he gonna do the thing? I have killed him before he does the thing. So I'm gonna be quick. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna go for the rewards. 1000. How much more do we need? We need another 2000. I have a way. I have two maps here that can clear me very quickly. So, got it by boss, got it by boss. I only have two got it by boss, and this will help me craft very quickly. So, go over the boss, gonna put this in. Get some player willpower. Um, the things, um, the things. Okay, this is just a boss there. So, this give us very quick crafting, and this should give us a thousand. Hey there, Danny Summer. Good to see you, buddy. Doing some crafting and doing some high end fights. Oh gosh, this one will kill me. the spams of the cockpits. Okay, put him quickly. And uh, we'll come here. Oh, I also got a legendary. Nice. See, a thousand crafting. So let's see if that's enough. It is enough. What? No, it's not enough. Oh, scare me. <laughs> I was like, there's no belt. <laughs> so that's another one to go. So this is actually really Welcome quick crafting. So, underling, specialist. It's a boss, so if you pick underling and specialist, it won't affect too much. Because he's just fighting a boss for the guarded by a boss. And this should give me another thousand of productivity here. <laughs> Poor man's matter of crafting here. Oh, this is a hard boss. This one's really strong. As he pushes you, oh, he's super durable, and he doesn't take much of the debuff at the start. You can see there, right? Yeah, please don't tell me to die here. No, I don't die. Should be. But once I break his hard shell, he's very squishy, like this. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, oh, two, two. And the other ring, not great. This one is a rogue, I take it. Oh, perfect. And this should give me my ring. Yes. Yes, it's it. It's it. Yes. Okay, I'll quickly accept it. <laughs> we got it, guys. <laughs> we got that belt back. Oh, I was so scared. <laughs> okay, okay. Back to free mode. So basically what this belt does is it saves me the time of clicking marker impunity, which I have been spamming onto the boss. And this pretty much saves me a lot. 
Oh, we also have added damage added to spells. That's actually really good. Really good, actually. Which spell you upgrade? I upgraded the trial. So this is my trial. It's a level 40 belt, though, because our friend looted very low level. But it's still okay. I'll definitely use it for a long time here. Really good stats. And increase, you know, chance of elements. Increase the basic damage. Rain damage is not bad. Outer damage is actually really good. I can roll this weapon into a triple socket now. And that should still work. Yeah, life literally is the consistent one. It's consistent with that. And what else is there? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, it had a few base stats at the start. So that's the crafting first. So if you guys want to the more know not more about crafting, definitely check out the guide for the black market. Explain the basics with item quantity, rarity, and also the upgrade of rarity. Not bad, right? And let's see what else do we want. We'll be crafting one more things. Let's see. What should I craft? I can craft the pens. I have a pens here. Yeah, I'll craft one of those pens. But that means I will change my whole perspective of the game, though. That's worth it. Let's craft one of those pens. This is 73%. 70. Let's see which one's better. Pretty much similar, right? Oh, this one has 59 hour resist on this item. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, we only need three more resistance. I'll craft this one. Let's go black market time. So item ready. This is what you do. Yeah, this pens I'm not too scared of losing it. And notice the belt cost me five thousand of the four thousand to craft. This one is about eleven hundred eleven thousand. So this will take a little longer to craft. Now don't click cancel because if you click it, it will disappear. <laughs> I have tested. Disconnecting did not affect it. That was great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little run of the crafting. What we'll do is we'll start socket those and we'll make ourselves much stronger as we go. Then we'll craft all the other pieces into legendaries as well. Beautiful, right? <laughs> Thank you guys.